So, like, to you guys, he's just shown weakness. But to me, strength to strength. Alright, fair enough. So, uh, the next map is going to be Tau Cross. <clears throat> um, this one chosen by Jordan Man. I don't really understand why you would pick Tau Cross as a Protoss against Zerg. Like, Not as a map, it's really tough. Because if the Zerg can take another main, you're left with, like, four bases and three gas that you can actually hold. It's just, it's horrible. But, anyway, are we ready to go? I'm ready. Alright. Alrighty, uh, Chill is the green Zerg in the top right, Gentleman is the orange Protoss on the left hand side, and uh, oh I think I'll, I'll take this opportunity to quote GRNP when he said that green Zerg is overpowered, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so they've got the same colours. Not on mine. No, I mean like... Last game, they were green and orange. Oh, yes. And now they're green and, and orange. It, it's hard for me to remember. I, I did not see much happen in last game. <laughs> but yeah, I can't find a siren. If anyone can find like a siren button that I can press Just for when John Man Google, makes zealots, I tried. Google Klaxon. Google what? Klaxon. K L A X O N. Klaxon. What is Klaxon? A klaxon is a type of siren. There's a sound cloud for klaxon with two with two L's. Maybe that's it. But yeah. Anyway, uh, looks like Jonaman once again going to be going for a forge FE. So realizing his mistake from last game, which was not doing a forge FE. But I mean that was that's more the map's fault than anything. You can't really forge FE on uh, on peaks unless you're chill. In which case. Do whatever the fuck you, you want. Can. It just takes a base. <laughs> just, just make a whole base in front of your base, and they won't be able to get into your base. It's a yeah. It's it's like a long term project. It's not like a, a fast <laughs> span necessarily, as it is just a, a wall. It does yeah. lend entirely new meaning to the term Sim City. Ha ha ha! Alrighties, and uh, looks like chill overpulling, not going for the early gas, so. So we're going back to a, a similar game to game one. Uh, doesn't bode very well for Johnny Man, but... Um, hey, okay. Can you do me a favor, please? Call him Hey, what? okay, and then he'll do you favors all the time. Does, does Johnny Man have three idle probes outside his oh main Oh my nexus? god. <laughs> Not again. I currently see zero idle probes. Oh, oh now wait. there's one. It's, oh, he's just reacting up to four here. <laughs> oh, no. So Joel, why? How is it only you that has this problem? He's on a MacBook. I'm, I'm watching these on like a 10 year old MacBook. <laughs> oh my god. If anything, that should make it work better if it's 10 years old. Uh, you would think. Closer to the source. <sighs> so Joel, so Joel, so Joel. Don't you, blame me. You silly goose. Blame Tech. <clears throat> Fuck you, Tech27. I didn't fix the overlay either, so we had this like. I mean, it's, it's not quite as bad in these games, but still, I mean, yeah. I have my hopes for a bugged final. <laughs> and, um, yeah, uh, Johnny Man just going about his business fairly normally. The wall is okay. It's not great. I think the uh, the gateway should have been one hex to the right, and that would have left you with a one hex gap that goons can actually get out of. But you know, it's it's good enough. It's not a big deal. Um, drones transferring for chill has his third base up at the uh, the close the close base. So that sort of you know it says he's probably going to be doing more sort of mid game hydro focus layer, which has been you know what he's been doing for this series. You know. Getting the the five hatches up before the gas, uh, getting the hydras out to defend early pushes. Um, I don't really like that on this map, though. Honestly, like if I was playing Zerg on this map, I would just take my third base at that uh, the natural of the other base on the map, 
And once you take that, if you can just survive, your your position on the map is just so much better. Than, yeah, it'd be like uh, playing on Fighting Spirit, where you just suddenly have four gas. Yeah, but the thing is, like, the the Protoss can't take the other side because there is no other side. You know, that's it. You know, you you've cut the Protoss off from any chance better. of yeah. winning the game in the late game. But anyway, I mean, it's sixty percent of the map. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Um, the yeah, gentleman got his core up. Uh, looks like he forgot to make a pylon. Uh, and doesn't have any suitable places to build like a stargate, so... Oh, it's actually going to be Citadel of Ladoon. So, going to be a, uh, a zealot timing attack, uh, similar to Game 2 on Circuit Breakers. Um, probably going to go for, you know, three or four gateways again. He could even cut gas here if he wanted to. Um, do this, like, really all-in, get four gateways, don't make any more probes, but... He isn't really producing pros at the moment, so he's not he's not all in, but this is definitely a timing attack of some sort, you know? Oops, it's making a probe again. Making one more. Oh, uh, yeah. Just one. Well, I mean the natural like is barely even one per patch saturated, so I guess he needed it. Um I guess he's he's saying, Oh, this worked, I should do this again. The problem though with this position is that I mean, Chill is just ahead from where he was when this worked. Um, this is a different build, too. He got er uh, s earlier second gas last time. Yeah, you're right. It's it's just it's a little bit more all-in than he was doing yeah. last time. It's not all-in. You, you have to wait longer to get um, archives if you're going to get Templar. Yeah, it's not it's not an all-in build. I'm kind of saying this wrong, but it's definitely it's more aggressive. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but in this case, Chill didn't do an overpull speed and get no damage done. He's just gone for a standard overpull and has more drones, faster hatcheries, faster gas. Everything of Chill's is just faster. But that being said, the spread out architecture of this map and the way that Chill is trying to make... Actually, is Chill doing a Chill wall? Kind of that... looks like it. He's, yeah. he's sprawling across the center there. This is like this is what Chill did when he was center. playing Protoss, but he's doing it with Zerg. And this is kind of what, what Drone did to me, uh, when I did a very similar timing attack. Uh, mine was after Stargate, but still the same kind of thing, you know. Fast, 3-gate, Zealot legs, um, and Chill basically, he's just going to have to not over-drone here. Um, so he's pumping out Hydra. No danger of that! <laughs> I think he'll be able to hold this okay. Um, he's going to get an Evo Chamber. Look yeah, at this right wall! There. This wall Walk is so wall. cool! Like, this is like... <clears throat> It's like the Great Wall of China, but on Tau Cross and not Asian. Well, I mean, it's yeah. Look at this. In some ways, it is Asian. Well, it's a holy wall. Ha, ha, ha. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you write your own material? <laughs> <laughs> no, I get an outside consultant to do it. Um, I had that one up my sleeve for a while. I was just waiting for it. Anyway, uh, and the zealots so getting in to do some harassment. Yeah, what? Oh, just the idle probes. For the first time in my life, I've actually seen someone build so many probes and not issue orders that they've formed a complete ring around the nexus. So can the probes they've taken build anything? every available spawn spot. Oh no, they just spawn in a kind of secondary layer around that now. Oh, okay. Eventually, though, they will get blocked and you won't be able to build anymore. But the timing attack of Johnny Man here did basically nothing. Uh, Chill was extremely prepared for that. The archives is up, but I mean... Johnny Man, you know, yeah. Johnny Man cut a fair few probes to get that attack out, and it's it's been completely shut down. And now, with Storm not yet done, and that many Hydras on the way, this could be a really tough position for Johnny Man. <clears throat> Can you imagine how easy a job the guy who works in the Templar Archives has? Like, the Templar Archivist? Like, every day he goes to work and someone was like, Hey Tony, you want to pull up another storm? And he's just like, I'm going to have to look through the archive. It's just, he knows where it is. He'll go to the same place every day, pick up the storm, bring it to whoever needs it. My god, I hate Blueberry Place. So wait, so let, let's just say, so what does he do for like the rest of the research? Does he just like sit down and like have a cigar or something <laughs> like that? Like grab, this, grab lunch at the nice sushi place? <laughs> Like, I wonder if he can go off campus, 
while he's <laughs> researching Storm? Like, does he need to be there? Like, can he, like, sneak out, you know, go to a restaurant, come back, grab the Storm quickly, and then head into work? Or... I don't know. I, I imagine he has to be able to grab it. It's got to be an easy reach if it's ordered that many times. What do you think his name is? <laughs> Dave? Craig, maybe? Craig, Craig is a good word for an archivist. Craig. An archivist? Uh, Craig sounds a bit young. <laughs> Craig is not a young name. Well, there's Craig there's plenty of old Craig. Craigs. I think it'd be more like Jim. Oh, you were correct, by the way. Uh, those new probes ain't spawning. <laughs> <laughs> Built so many probes he can't build anymore. Uh, and uh, so sad. as a zealot scouting around looking for the fourth base of Chill, but the fourth base is already almost finished at the uh, Mineral Only, and it's actually going to expand down here to the fifth as well. So Johnny Man is slowly getting into a bad position again. I feel like this is a bit of deja vu from the match point game. Where I can't believe it. It's just occurred to me this could be the last game, because in my mind, John won the last game. Um, I, I could very well be missing who gets into the finals. <laughs> you can always, like, I don't know, turn the stream on or something like that, or... Oh, you're on shitty internet, aren't you? I guess I'm gonna have to go to YouTube and watch these games when they're posted and listen to myself telling myself that in the future. <laughs> you should give uh, yourself a message now. What? <laughs> I think that only works if you watch the VODs at 88 miles an hour. <laughs> Just give yourself a reminder. Think of something that you have to do later, and if then this, put in the VOD now, thing, so that when you watch these, you know, like a week from now, you'll know to do that thing. If there's one thing I know about myself, it's that uh, by then, I will have become 100% solid and secure in the knowledge that I've wasted my life. So, uh, just to get it on record now, that's okay. You're on target. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that was so grim. Alright, so uh, John Man's attack there, it did manage to cancel uh, the 5th base there, but really didn't do any damage. Uh, Chill probably doesn't even care. Um, and in the meantime, all he did was throw away a lot of Zealots, and Chill's army is looking pretty scary. Uh, there is Storm though, so Mass Hydra Ling really isn't that scary uh, when you have Storm, but there are Lurkers coming up now. Um, I see a Queen's Nest, so I assume that uh, after the drop finishes, Hive will be on the way, and uh, and with Defiler and Ultras, this army's going to get a lot scarier, but that's still a while off. I think Johnny Man needs to maybe uh, try and mount some kind of timing attack here of three bases, but he doesn't have many gateways. He has like six gates this late in the game with three bases. It's still managing to macro oh, though. No. He still has a decent amount of goons. It's not a not an insignificant army. My question is, how is he spending his money? If you've got six gateways and three bases, how are you not, like, rich? He doesn't have any queued up either, so I don't know. Yeah, I don't... He's just better oh, at he has macro. One queued up. I think he's just good at macro. Like, that's... Because, like, if this was me, and I had, like, six gateways and three bases, I would have, like, 4k right now. I, just, I would just have 4k. <laughs> Even with, like, On 10 gates. Yeah. On my screen, he already has 3,000 minerals. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm playing in the bug to replay. Believe me, if that's the case, he is unaccountably shitty in this game. <laughs> and, um... <clears throat> yeah, so Johnny Man sort of slowly approaching uh, the wall of, of chill uh, with these goons. So they're trying to do it in a, a slow, controlled manner, trying to bait Chill into kind of attacking into Mass Storm. Uh, getting a Storm there on a few eggs, uh, we'll be able to just take Oop. them out. Oh, only gets one. And uh, here comes the Swarm of Chill. Everything coming in. Mass Storm's going down. Oh, so many dead Zerglings. Wow. Oh, that... looks like Gentleman's gonna hold. The fuck? Good storms. Wow. That was extremely efficient. Jesus Christ. He still has a bunch of storms left, too. 
Yeah. Two in that Templar, one in that Templar. That was impressive. Two in that Templar. <laughs> <laughs> I love how when you say it like that, it, like I can't see the Templar. So normally I would be looking at the Templar and thinking like, oh my god, he's got so much done. But you've just created the image of like a few Templar with just a couple of storms rattling around in them. Like, oh, he's got a couple of storms. If you shake him, you can hear him in there. <laughs> <laughs> So like chill, just sending in uh, bits of Zogonis baiting out storms, um, and an Archon being morphed now, that'll be able to deal better with the Zoglings and the Goons can, but Jonoman really needs to reinforce this push quickly. Um, his fourth is up now. Jonoman secured Oh, it is too, fourth. yeah. Yeah. But... I start mining from it. I think he needs to run away. I think that if he hangs around much longer, he's going to get surrounded by Zoglings and die. But no. Technically upgrades about halfway done too, so his time is kind of running out with the Dragoons. Well, he re-rallied everything to the front, because he's got like all of his gateways bound, right? So I guess that's how he macros so well, because he's so focused on macro. But still, it's so weird. The idea that someone is moving their army manually all the time, it's just... It blows my mind. I don't even understand how it happens. And, um... The goons coming in now, trying to pressure onto this fifth base. Uh, but chill. I mean, his his economy is just so healthy that I mean, Jonoman needs to be really careful here. Um, this could easily go wrong. And mass Zoglings coming in, uh, taking out still a lot of these apparently. goons behind. And with the the sunkens on one side and the lings on the other, a lot of this army is dying. But it's still it's still alive. But he lost a good bulk of the army there. The uh, supplies are becoming more even. He's still a little bit ahead, but that's to be expected with, uh, with this kind of play. And oh, the ultralists. That's a lot of ultralists. Oh god. Oh wow, that is a lot of ultras. Oh my god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're slow though. Run Zerglings. They're slow, non upgraded ultralists. Like, they don't have the extra armor. So oh, they up the, the Zealots are, are actually nice making there. good work in them. Uh, Jonoman with 3-1, but... Yeah. So, I mean, Jonoman managed to take this base out, but in the meantime, his entire army is left in rubble. Uh, the supplies have evened up. <laughs> Armies but, don't leave behind a rubble. <laughs> well, no, it, it is rubble now. Like A Terran army does. Goons do. They leave behind, like, goon legs and shit. Like, That's yeah. goon blood, and it's goo. There's not just goo. There's like they're there's, they're like a there's mech parts, suit, right? Legs. Yeah. Yeah. There's like parts no. of the legs. Rubble has to be made of stone. Why? I, that's Barney rubble was made of flesh. Eats. I think it's <laughs> very that's... true. And so was Betty rubble. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, their adopted child. Bam, the army bam. of Chill is just overrunning this base here. Joe Man's back down on on just three bases. It's a really rough spot. Anyway, I think this this stone component of rubble is completely full of shit. Like, so when there's like an earthquake, you know, there was rubble, like that. Down, mass down, waste or rough fragments of stone, brick, concrete, etc. Okay, Especially concrete, alright. Debris, debris from the demolition of buildings. And in the example, two buildings collapse, trapping yeah. people on the You said rubble. stone. <laughs> Wait, so what if it's a robot that functions as a house but also <laughs> moves around and attacks people? Is he made of stone? Well, a goon is a house. It's a house for like a dead zealot. <laughs> I love, in my mind, when you show up outside someone's base with goons, it's always that conversation from The Simpsons where he's like, Who's there? Goons. goons. Range upgrade goons. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, Chill dropping in the main, uh, at the same time attacking at the third. Jonoman's holding on heroically here, but this could be the end. Uh, more and more Zergling streaming in. Uh, the main base attack is going to die, but at the same time the third base is going to die, so... Yeah. Hey, Kenzie, A successful hey, attack overall from Chill. For those of us listening on the radio, who's winning? Oh, Jonoman's losing, yeah. Oh, brilliant. Wait, Chill's winning. Yeah. Bollocks. This is the end. Oh. Of the end. Well, yeah. I just wanted to see a real game, that's all. This, I, uh, I think Chill wins. this is a July Zerg level of, uh, of Zerg unit spam just running into the third constantly. And it's just Chill has his. Slowly his, overwhelming uh, Jonoman. Fifth and sixth. Yeah. 
more and more units just continuing to come. Chill macroing. Three three lava per hatchery, chill macro. I just caught it too. Perfect. Jono Man managing to sort of hold off here. Chill might be getting a little bit overconfident here. He's actually, he doesn't have a bank or anything like that, and the supplies have evened up. Jono Man sort of fighting back here. Yeah, Chill, I think, got a little bit overconfident there, just with streaming units in. But uh, Jono Man had enough to stem the tide. But he lost a lot of probes there. Um, he's got fairly poor mining. Uh, the main and natural almost gone, so he's left with just the one base against the you know, like five mining bases of Chill, and uh, sending some zealots down, uh, trying to take out... Oh! So Chill is also mutating to Lair, which as we now know, is incorrect. Chill, silly you, and Drone, both of you, just very silly. It was Chill both times. <laughs> Wait, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drone made a yeah. comment about it that enlightened oh, us this yeah. quite bad. I was just about to say... Jesus, it's uh, been so it, long. I just, I thought think, it was a different think series. Back to a time <laughs> when Drone was in trouble. That's a good point. Um, yeah, you're right. It's silly. I mean, I just, it's just been so long. I just, it felt like a different series, you know? Like... Believe me, to those of us watching the game <laughs> I'm watching, it feels like a very fucking different series. <laughs> <laughs> the Bug series. <laughs> Can we have two in a row as well? Yeah, that's, I feel like I won the Bug replay lottery. <laughs> So yeah, uh, both players with good upgrades. Oh, it's actually a complete sort of ships passing in the night here. Uh, Jono Man running towards Chill's fifth base while Chill runs headlong into uh, Jono Man's third. Problem with this is that Chill can afford to lose those bases, whereas Jono Man cannot. Uh, I can't see this trade working out very well for him. Doesn't seem that way now. It looks yeah. like he's gonna. Die. Joe's gonna take out Jono Man's third and just kinda crash through. Yeah, Jono Man sending a few more units in to disrupt the mining at the Neural Only and sending his army back to try and defend this, because it's his only option here. I mean, Chil could just. Oh my god, storms! Did you see that? Oh, that's an awful lot of storms. Did you Did see he that? Click all the Templar and storms. I think so, yeah. That was so cool. That was just so cool. I mean, that's, I, that's the, the kind of micro you get from the Hawking, and it just magic <laughs> blocks them Templar. That was great, though. You missed it too, because you know you're in a bug replay. But oh, oh, thanks. I'm really glad that you pointed that out. No worries. I, for a split second, I thought that I had in fact watched some amazing play there for a minute. <laughs> it was like the whole screen lit up with storm at the same time. I'm gonna take out the archives. Yeah, I mean, a lot no, of this space. Oh, Craig. <laughs> oh my god. That took me a second to get. I was like. Dude, that's a nice callback for you there. <laughs> Craig. I guess that's a way homer. Well, the question is, like, after Craig has finished researching, is he really going to hang around in the archives? Like. <laughs> he's just, he he might. just goes. He's home. probably out. He go? No, he's, he's gone out, like, for dinner now. He's going to come back and be like, oh shit! Someone knocked down the archives while I was gone. <laughs> yeah. I guess I would <laughs> He went out he to grab a beer, when he came back, the archives were burned down. <laughs> he's like, shit. He's like, he's like, uh, he he's making a police report. He's making a police report. He's like, yeah, some hooligans were here, and they totally burned it down. Because he has no idea what's <laughs> happened. <laughs> he doesn't want to get in trouble. Like, he's like, dude, boss, uh, yeah, it, it wasn't me. I was totally there, but I got I got kidnapped by hooligans. and they. I was burn. totally there, doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine even trying to explain that? There was a bunch of Zerg, man, I don't know. <laughs> I already found the storm. <laughs> and uh, the plague on the Zealots here making them incredibly weak against this uh, Ultra Ling. And GG! Jono Man taps out. Chill. Hey, and I had my hopes and dreams pinned on you. And Chill goes up 3 1. Uh, Congratulations, Chill. Extremely well played. Yeah, that was a good series. The game that I saw of it. So, uh, I managed to predict both games correctly. Well, kind of. I didn't get scores right. But still, I mean... Yeah. So, yeah, congratulations. So, uh, We're gonna what are your have... views in the finals, Kenzie? What's that? What are your views in the finals? Well, I have... That's the thing. Like, 
what races are they going to play? Uh, it's going to be... Gonna be easy. Well, the thing is, right, they both pick, they both pick, pick against Protoss Z. against Zerg, right? So, how do you have that series? Like, how, how do you play that series? Does anyone Are you suggesting that they're going to exist in a state of quantum uncertainty, whereby each will try and race pick against the other continuously until eventually they have to press go, and then whatever happens, happens? I guess so. I mean, I don't... Actually, I guess they're going to have to do a blind pick of races, right? And I actually know what happens in this situation. They have to play StarCraft 2 and click random, and then everything's out the window. Let's, let's just pretend you didn't say that. <laughs> the, the, the finals will take place in Quake Live. That'd be pretty funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess it's probably going to end up being like PvP, because like... There'll be like these mind games where they blind pick, and you know, Drone will be like, Well, I'll, I'll pick Protoss because I want to play against his Zerg, and he'll probably pick Zerg, and Chill will think exactly the same thing, and we'll just get like a series of like PvP with Zerg players. <laughs> it's gonna be really weird. Um, and lovely, it, in that case, I can fully imagine like if they're both off racing, the finals could be of significantly lower quality than the semi finals. <laughs> but uh, I guess we can make. Uh, announce, you know, when the finals are going to be and stuff like that. Um, they're going to be on the 21st, uh, which is a Sunday, but for Americans that'll be like the 20th afternoon, night, and yeah. European What time is that time. for me? Uh, we're going to start at 8 a.m. KST, so two hours so before midnight. now. Two hours before Good. now is when we will start. Oh, wait. Oh, what? yeah, okay, so two hours before now. Two hours understand. before now, on the 20... 5th? 21st-ish? Whatever. Anyway, there'll be a post about it, but it's going to be chill against Liquid Drone. We're also going to have a third and fourth place map uh, match, so that'll be uh, Jonah Man against Cambium. Uh, that'll be best of five, and the finals will be best of seven, and casting will be Manifesto 7, who we convinced to cast. So Manifesto, Manifesto 7, 7 actually knows about Brood War, doesn't he? he dude, he casted WCG. Uh. You guys are yeah. in for a treat. Too a legit. rare treat. <laughs> Too legit to quit. Um, uh, finals probably won't be live because, you know, lag and shit. Um, but, yeah. Uh, the winners are on the screen. Liquid Drone and Chill. So, yeah. Um, thanks to uh, Patchy, aka Wild Patchy, aka... He did the overlays for us because Hawaiian Pig was really busy. So, thanks for that. Thanks to... I don't know. Uh, thanks to Kianti for sorting all of this out again because uh, 